In this session, we will going to explore a high level view of how a SAML flow work. So on the right hand side, we have a flow diagram and I'll start just from the top that suppose you are as a client, want to access a service provider and I'm taking service provider as Salesforce and identity provider as Google. So as a user, you want to access Salesforce. So once the Salesforce get this request from a user, it will send a SAML request to the identity provider. Once the identity provider receives a SAML request, first of all, it will authenticate that user by asking the user the credentials that they have for the identity provider. So in case if the identity provider is Google, it will going to ask your Google username and password. So once the identity provider authenticate that user, it generates a SAML response, which indeed contains a SAML assertion file with a digital signature. And that file will send back to the client, or you can say user's browser. The user's browser redirect that file to the service provider that Salesforce. Once Salesforce receive a SAML response, file then it will just going to authenticate that saml response and identifies the user within its own database so this is how a complete saml flow works and as a high level we can see that below here both the identity provider and service provider shares a saml configuration that configuration consists of some XML configuration and certificate, which as a whole, we can say contains a metadata file, which both the identity provider and service provider shares between them. And once that files, you can say are shared between them, there is a trust, or you can say a trust has been made between a identity provider and a service provider and this trust or you can say whatever the configuration both the service provider and entity provider have they use this to basically generate the SAML recession and validate the SAML recession so as you can see in this session we have explored at a very high level that how these authentications work and how the files and you can say certificate shared between the identity provider and service provider so in the next session we will going to see how to set up saml in salesforce